Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a, another ranked commentary with Shimakaze. Uh, going over this matchmaking, this is a lesson in why you don't bring Kaba to a ranked battle. This setup right here, 1DD versus 1DD. Uh, they've got, my team has the, pretty much the slickest DD um, with the lowest concealment and they might as well have a light cruiser with theirs. Um, and you're gonna see this is this is just gonna be really aggressive scouting uh, by my on my part. Uh, I'm gonna push right up there. I know Cobb is fast. One of the things that uh, he's gonna try to do is he's gonna try to get uh, to the cap and get it capped before anybody else can get on. Shima's fast enough that with your speed boost and a and a flag you can get to the cap quick enough to uh, to cause issues with his game plan for that it's one of the the few times that you'll actually see me pop speed boost to race to a cap um, and that's just because I don't want to have the situation where that cop is able to cap this point and then just ride around out here and just rely on any radar ships uh, and him being sneaky enough he can sit out here and uh, just pound whatever destroyer has to try to, to radar that that is his his only game plan is to cap this early and then use his rate friendly radar to uh, to basically allow him to defend what he took uh, so you're gonna notice I'm gonna push really aggressive right up in here and right in around the cap. I, I want to try to pick him up as he's coming in and uh, there's a Des Moines that for some reason he's not running concealment expert or the module or, or something's going on. Um, I'm gonna go on ahead dip in here and what I'm doing here they've got one radar so I'm gonna just gonna bait it. I'm already moving full speed, still got over a minute of speed boost. I'm going to kite it, and here's a Kaba. Kaba pops up. Um, he's going to open up. I'm just doing, uh, I've just kind of dubbed this as active scouting. Uh, just baiting these guys to shoot at me um, so I can spot them. I go on ahead, and since I'm here, I'm just going to drop a, a smoke curtain in front of my team. And I, since radar is almost down, I'm just going to rush back in here. I'm going to spot the cop, uh, let my team uh, shoot at this guy again and push him off. Uh, should be getting in radar detection range shortly. Here it is. Radar is down. Kaba gets one shot off at me. And he gets absolutely hammered. Going to repair the fire. And normally you would play safe to the island. You actually see I start headed towards the island, but I see low health Kaba. I want to keep this guy lit as long as possible. I know the radar is not a threat here. Uh, so it becomes a, you know, let's scout. Um, while I'm here, might as well dump some torpedoes around. Uh, one here for the Des Moines and Kerfers. Sorry, number one is going in the background. Hey, easy guys, you're all right. Just chill out. I'm just dumping torpedoes around here. Um, you know, couple here and there based on just general area denial. Now what I'm gonna do here, this Yamato, he's overextended. We've got all of these guys in behind these islands here that can stealth fire at this guy. And, uh, I'm gonna make sure that this guy can't drop off. You see, he's he's trying to back up behind this island. I want to keep this Kerfer spotted. Want to keep this, in particular, the Yamato spotted. He is my priority spotting target. Um, looks like I'm gonna get a torpid on uh, the Kerfer, and I'm gonna call target on the Kerfer because he's uh, his repair is on cooldown right now. Nope, he dropped off. 
So, just gonna stay here on the Yamato. Just get my team to focus him down. And I mean, you can just see the spotting damage racking up. Already 96k. Uh, not giving these guys any sort of, you know, breathing room or anything like that. If if they're shooting, I am. I want to be in a position where I can spot it, uh, so nobody can farm my team from uh, from stealth. <clears throat> this Yamato is going to be going down soon. Okay, Yamato's down. Uh, this Kerr first and the, and the Des Moines are going to be my next priority targets. This Des Moines, though, is working off the far side of the island. So, I pretty much Kerr first is going to be the next target. I'd prefer to kill the Des Moines rather than the Kerr first first, but it is what it is. At this point, we've got a battleship train coming. Um... Uh, this Des Moines is he's in a world of hurt I mean the thing he really should be doing is he should be as soon as he's undetected bailing right now because he's going to get trapped here shortly and what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to close the trap um, even though it's it's putting me inside radar range uh, I want to get around these islands, and if this Des Moines tries to run out, I want to be able to give my team a window of opportunity to shoot him while he's broadside. And in the meantime, I'm closing distance on this curve first. He's re he's just reversing right now, trying to bow tank. Some general harassment torpedoes on this Des Moines. Maybe I can push him out and let one of my battleships get a good shot at him um, you know just little things you can do to try to help your team I kinda suspect that I'm gonna get radared here uh, because I finally got the spots on the Des Moines uh, but obviously I'm well inside radar range uh, Kerfurst is pushing up there's the radar uh, and I'm gonna kite and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my stern towards the Des Moines and I'm going to try to go broadside to the Kerr first. Um, that way I can uh, try to minimize any sort of damage. And I get outside the 9.9 uh, .9 kilometer radar range. But because the Des Moines has been shooting at me, he's still spotted. And I'm just going to circle right around and, and go back. I've got torpedoes that are coming up. Uh, and I'm I'm just gonna keep trying to work on this Des Moines. Get some torpedoes in on the Des Moines. Let my Republic know, hey, don't just yolo right around the island. Uh, you got torpedoes incoming. Uh, honestly, he's he's too low HP to do what he's doing. Uh, he's lucky that, you know, shot like that um, from the curve first didn't kill him. So, um, you know, he's, he's given too much broadside here to the Yamato. Uh, And this Des Moines at this point, he's trapped. He's got a Republic behind him. My Torps coming in behind him. And uh, two Yamatos in front that just about have uh, arcs on him. And, uh, you know, my Torps finished him off, but he was, he was already a dead man there. Uh, so next target is Kerr first. Keep him spotted while I just keep working my way to C-Cap. <coughs> now... This is the priority target for the team. I'm out of position. I can't spot him, but, it, I mean, we're talking, 
you know, bad breath distances for the battleship, so they can handle their own spotting right now. If nobody was here, there wasn't any planes or anything, this curve first would be undetected right now. So that's also a sign of, you know, being in effective position right now. And right now we're up at 146,000 spotting damage. That should, should tell you how much damage we've enabled this team to do uh, this game. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and throw some torps out. And then judging based on uh, his concealment from uh, earlier, I've got the ability to step on the cap and keep this guy spotted. Now the other thing about this torpedo position is he's he's angling towards basically almost all of my battleships, but he's he's gonna have to give him broadside to try to dodge my torps, and that can open him up to a uh, lot of good damage. Um, and I, I'm trying to remember, I think he still even eats a torp. Um, there's just a lot of torps in there. Yeah, here it comes. Bloop! Right on the butt and down he goes so an example of uh, of Shimakaze playing the that aggressive scouting role uh, uh, getting in front of your team and just getting the targets lit you get radar get evasive um, you know avoid the damage and then get right back on it don't let those targets come down go down so uh, you can uh, you know, keep things rolling for your team. That's uh, that's how you play Shema. Um, anyway, I hope you guys uh, found this uh, interesting. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys later.